If you're probably wondering, this is not sweat, this is tears. I don't normally come on here in tears, but I thought I would tell y'all just what happened. So today was my first day of school, everything went great, I got home, that's where it started. School was very good, this is not about school or why I'm like this, it's about my grandmother. So, uh, a few years ago, I was 14, if you know, my birthday is, what, next week, I guess, something like next week, Saturday coming up, um, not this Saturday, of course, next Saturday, and, uh, then I'll be 17, so this was a few years ago, if you know, my father's in prison, this is his mother, and, uh, around the time he just went to prison is when I went to go visit her. Um, I was trying to get, you know, to know her more. Y'all, I'm crying really bad. Y'all never seen me like this before. I'm not crying anymore, but my nose is still running. Well, me and her just got in a big argument on Facebook. Like, Messenger, not, like, publicly, but, um, when I went down there to Florida, um, uh, me, I was with her, and I was with my uncle and his baby mama, and my uncle's very, he's mental in the head, and uh, I, I didn't really feel love when I was down there with them. I felt like I was just some girl on the street staying with them, and uh, one night, me and my uncle got in an argument. I was doing his baby mama hair, and he came in there bothering me. He was drunk, and he had just got to the hospital, and... He come in there telling me all kind of lies and shit like, oh, your mama, um, your mama drank, uh, she gave no, she, she told me that my mama gave me alcohol when I was a baby and like just saying all kind of like negative stuff. So I got up to go tell my grandma and he pushed me down. I got up again, go get her because he was making me really mad and, um, he pushed me down again and I got up and I started swinging at him because, you know, he pushed me down hard on the bed that I let him go anywhere me and him got in a fight he didn't only hit me he only he hit he, he also hit his baby mama which is normal and he threw my suitcase at her made her nose bleed but I was trying to get her from him because he was trying to drag her out the house and um he was hitting me in my head and I have a history of seizures so I was very scared for my life that night I called out loud to, for my father that night and my mom my mom was in at home of course in South Carolina my father was in jail at the time or just went to prison um it's a very sad night for me and I remember my grandma you know on the phone like oh you hit a 14 year old you're going to jail now blah 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 so I'm thinking she called the police you know she on the phone like she did she wasn't really on the phone with nobody she pretended like she called the police and that's her son but Keep in mind, he was in his 30s, if I'm not mistaken, and I was 14 at the time. You know, so when I found out that she really didn't call the police, because me and the girlfriend, we called the police. And she was like, y'all really called the police? We're like, yeah.